On the same day the Supreme Court ruled Border Patrol agents are allowed to remove razor wire at the border, Texas installed more of it. A large majority of the razor wire has been installed at Shelby Park in Eagle Pass, Texas, a place the Texas National Guard currently has taken over and won't allow federal agents entry. Therefore, they can't reach the razor wire to cut it down. This battle over the border is intensifying quickly between Texas and the federal government. Right now, the case over whether agents can or cannot remove razor wire is in the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. The bigger issue at stake here, do states or the federal government have jurisdiction over what happens at the border? Arguments will be heard next month. Until that litigation plays out, the Supreme Court ruled Border Patrol agents can, for now, remove the razor wire. This is seen as a win for the Biden administration, and Texas officials were not happy about it. The ruling has escalated already tense rhetoric over the border crisis. Now some elected officials and pundits are throwing around rhetoric about secession and civil war. Louisiana Representative Clay Higgins took to X to say, My thoughts are that the feds are staging a civil war and Texas should stand their ground. Texas Congressman Chip Roy posted, This opinion is unconscionable and Texas should ignore it. Texas Governor Greg Abbott posted these photos to X, saying the Texas National Guard continues to hold the line in Eagle Pass. Texas will not back down from our efforts to secure the border in Biden's absence. The razor wire was installed to act as a deterrent to illegal border crossings. And an example of its apparent effectiveness was posted by an Epic Times reporter on Tuesday. The reporter, Charlotte Cuthbertson, says the man was from Guatemala, asking to go to Atlanta to work. According to the reporter, he wasn't able to find a way to get around the razor wire. He gave up and headed upstream to find another place to cross.